Have you ever heard of the god particle and the ghost particle? These are two of the most fascinating and mysterious particles in the universe. And today we are going to explore them in more detail. Okay. Let's start with the god particle. It is also known as the Higgs boson. It was discovered in 2012 at the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland. Higgs boson is a subatomic particle that explains how other particles in the universe acquire mass. It is also responsible for why some particles are heavy and some are light. Without the Higgs boson, particles would move at the speed of light and matter as we know it wouldn't exist. Okay, how did the Higgs boson get its nickname, the God particle? Well, it wasn't because scientists thought it was divine. In fact, the nickname was originally the God damn particle because it was so elusive and difficult to find. However, the publisher of the book that first mentioned it preferred the god particle because it sounded catchier. The discovery of the Higgs boson was a huge breakthrough in particle physics and it confirmed the existence of the Higgs field which permeates the entire universe and gives particles mass. Congratulations to everybody involved in this tremendous achievement. Uh, for me, it's really an incredible thing that it's happened in my lifetime. This was a missing piece in the standard model of particle physics, which describes the fundamental particles and forces that make up the universe. In particle physics, mass is a measure of the resistance of a particle to acceleration. Without the Higgs field, particles would not have mass and the universe would look very different. When particles interact with the Higgs field, they experience a drag that slows them down. This drag gives particles mass and the amount of drag they experience determines their mass. The Higgs particle is the particle associated with this Higgs field. It is created when the Higgs field is excited and it quickly decays into other particles. Scientists detect the Higgs particle by looking for these decay products. Okay, now let's talk about the ghost particle. It is also known as the neutrino. Neutrino is a subatomic particle that is extremely difficult to detect because it is rarely interacts with the matter. In fact, billions of neutrinos are passing through your body right now without you even noticing. They are so small and elusive that they can pass through almost any material without being stopped, which is why they are often called ghost particles. Neutrinos are interesting because they have several unusual properties. For example, they come in three flavors, electron, muon and tau, and can transform from one flavor to another as they travel through space. This means that a neutrino created as an electron neutrino may be detected as a muon or tau neutrino after traveling a certain distance. Neutrinos are created in many different processes in the universe like uh, nuclear reaction in the sun and supernova explosions and in the collision of cosmic rays with the atoms in the Earth's atmosphere. If you want to learn more about the cosmic rays, be sure to check out my previous video on the topic. Okay, now why are neutrinos are so important? For one, they provide a window into some of the most extreme environments in the universe, such as supernova and black holes. Neutrinos can travel through dense matter like Earth or even the Sun without interacting with anything. This means that they can carry information about what's happening inside these objects. They can also help us better understanding the nature of matter and the fundamental forces of the universe. In recent years, neutrinos have been used to study the Earth's interior. By observing the neutrinos that pass through the Earth, scientists can learn about the density and the composition of our planet's core. Okay, how do the God particle and the ghost particle compare? Indeed, they are both subatomic particles, but they have very different properties and behaviors. The God particle is massive and interacts strongly with other particles while the ghost particle is nearly massless and barely interacts with anything. So there you have it, the god particle and the ghost particle. 
While they may seem like opposites, one heavy and one almost weightless, they both play a crucial role in our understanding of the universe and the fundamental particles that make it up. So, the next time you look up at the stars, remember that these tiny particles are all around us, shaping the universe in ways we are only beginning to understand. That's all for today's video folks. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching.